Welcome Pixels! 25 Games is back! Before we start, I want to thank our patrons for their great support. Special honor to Eric for his epicness. Thank you to Simon Sineda, David Hensel, Melina Brunner, Robert Hartl, Erich Gangl, Theresa, Reinhard Bauer and Maximilian Heinle. Without your help, we can't make our game Cortex and this YouTube tutorial. My name is Simon Gangl and today I want to ask you if you have ever asked yourself about borders in level geometry. Maybe you know the problem that you want to bring two materials together. On the one hand you have this seamless grass texture and on the other hand you have this seamless soil texture. So let's take this boulder island here. The top sided faces should get the grass texture and the sides and the bottom should get the soil texture. The two textures will hit each other on a particular point of your mesh and you will get this ugly seam. We need to cover this anesthetic place with an extra border texture. In the end of this video tutorial I want to have any island or level structure which have a grassland area and soil area and a border between those two materials. There are different solutions to solve this problem. However. Our game Cortex have a very rough surface spiked with cliffs and boulders. I want to show you which method works best for us. 1. Preparations I will use a prepared mesh of a boulder island and my hand painted seamless 1k textures for this tutorial. Grass, soil, soil to grass. Very important is that the soil part on my soil to grass texture have exactly the same texture pattern than the poor solid texture. Just in case you don't know what seamless mean, a seamless texture is repeating itself again and again, to all directions. So I am able to create huge areas of grass or soil and I am not limited to any tiny unique UV space which is just controlled by texture size. But the solid to grass texture is not working like this. I will show you why I made it this way in my next steps. 2. The setup Let's start with my mesh I have modeled before. First I need to define where I want to place my grass material and where should be the soil material. For this I mark a seam to define a border. I select the top faces and unwrap their UVs. In the material tab you see that I have already prepared three materials with the proper textures. Grass, soil and soil border. Select the grass material and assign it to your selected faces. Ok, the first material is done. Let's add the soil material next. In edit mode select all and unwrap your UVs. You will get this weird round shape which is definitely not the best solution for this UV island. Let's check the result with the soil texture so that you see what I mean. For sure the upper part looks pretty good. A seamless texture has not a top or bottom side. It is viable to all directions. But in the middle of my UV island is pretty less texture information compared to the outer ring. So I need to mark seams to unfold the UV island in a better way. As well this is necessary to place my border texture later. After you find your edges for cutting mark them as seam and unwrap the UV island. The result is the semi-cycle like shape. This is much more what I wanna. Select all faces and assign the soil to grass material. You can see now that I have tuft of grass on some faces. But I need those grass texture all around the border. We need to modify all vertices of the soil UV island border. Care about the button, keep UV and edit mode mesh selection in sync. It has to be disabled for my doing because I want to bring now all border vertices to a flat horizontal line. It has not to be perfect for now. Because I select them all, press W and select align epsilon. 
all your selected vertices get on the same height position. This is exactly what we wanna. Press P now to pin your selected vertices. Select all and press I to unfold UVs again. But your pinned UVs stayed at the position where you pinned them. The unpinned vertices try to relax themselves around the pinned ones. Now you managed to bring the border texture around your mesh in a very nice way. You are able to scale the UV island to adjust the texture size. But it is not done yet. The texture is repeating the tuft of grass texture to the top and bottom side and we don't want to have this texture information on the bottom side of our mesh. We need our poor soil texture here. Select all faces which are affected by the grass texture and assign the soil material. The soil texture is perfectly fitting to the soil to grass texture because the soil pattern is exactly the same. So you don't see the material switch anywhere. You will just have a subtle texture difference here on the grass part. 3. Contra You can't avoid to get a UV seam on one position where you marked the edges with a seam. But you have several options. You can bake the texture to a new UV layout and overpaint your new texture with the texture paint tool in Blender or move the texture to left or right to find a nice position where texture information fits better than before. The last option is the one I'm using. I always try to hide those seams in our game engine Unity with props or other level geometry. For example roots or stones. You can use whatever you wanna. Well, that's it now. The result looks pretty good in Unity. This method is as well pretty performant for the game engine. But it costs as well some time for the setup when you consider to create a whole level like this. If you like this little tutorial, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for further tutorials. We love the creating tutorials, but we need as well some support. Become our patron and help us to help you. Thank you very much for watching, see you the next time, cheers!